Hello. Is that a Godzilla round piece? Today we're going to be looking at this movie, um, Godzilla King of the Monsters. I've stated my opinion on this movie a bit in my comments that I left on other videos, but if I had to be honest, I think I treat this movie a bit harsher than I really should be. I mean, it is just a Godzilla movie. What is there to really argue about? It's... So let's just talk about this, I guess. Godzilla King of the Monsters is, in my opinion, a very generic Godzilla movie. It follows the pretty much same plot as Godzilla... No, no, what is it called? Ghidorah the Free Headed Monster. Sorry, I was going to say Godzilla King versus King Ghidorah, but that's a completely different film. Um... I know, they do, yeah. but anyway, I personally don't really like this movie, that's pretty much it, I just find it boring, not really interesting, doesn't really add many new things, yeah, that's, that's that, I will, but let's, let's brush over negatives for now and talk about positives, first off, Godzilla in this movie, I just love the neon in this movie. I like Pacific Rim, and I like the neon use. The neon is very nice. Like, Godzilla looks nice. King Ghidorah, you know, he has a nice yellowish, like, lighting around his, his head when he's about to fire some gravity beams, which I found was a really neat detail. A really neat detail. I like that. Rodan had a constant magma glow to him, which was really nice. Um... Mothra kind of glowed, even though it was really just kind of dust. Which, honestly, I didn't really care for Mothra that much. She's kind of a side character, if I'm being honest. She doesn't really do much in a movie other than aid the plot to move forward. Um, so, let's talk about designs. Godzilla looks pretty good in this movie. Do I like... Now, I don't know, it's just... I like the design, I like what they went for, but I just don't exactly like the concepts of it. I do like the sleeker, more bulky, more bare looking Godzilla. However, I also don't like the the use of the 54 Godzilla's dorsal plates, which in my opinion just kind of ruined the idea of the Gargoji, which, in my opinion, was a really unique design. It was a pretty good Godzilla design. In my opinion, they just, they should have just, like, you know, made the spikes bigger for the next Godzilla movie. Sorry, scratch nose. <coughs> yeah. Um, King Ghidorah is, I guess, pretty good. Although, um, I'm not really the biggest fan of this King Ghidorah much. I think it's just that I'm just tired of the generic, you know, I think I'm just tired of generic, like... Like, you look at all these other King Ghidorah designs that they were going to go for, like, they all looked alien, fish-like. I loved it. This one kind of just resembles a, you know, generic dragon you would find in any other movie. Which, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, you know... Okay. Um, Rodan looks freaking fantastic, and I love him. Rodan in this movie is really good. The only thing I can really say bad about Rodan that won't get me, you know, packed by nine-year-olds is that he's, he's a coward, and I do not like that. I really don't. I get that you were trying to make Rodan a sort of, like, wild card character, but making him a coward didn't really fit the bill for me because, you know, Rodan has never really been a coward much. Like, you look at the show of Rodan, well, you know, he's always by Godzilla's side or something, you know. Maybe not always, but, you know. Um, then there's Mothra, which, honestly, I didn't really care for Mothra that much. It's just, I don't I think it's just because Mothra is just obnoxiously generic good monster in most movies. I don't know. The only monster I really liked was the GMK monster and the 
1964 Mothra and the original Mothra. Those were pretty much the ones I liked the most. But then again, I think those were the best Mothras out of all Mothras. Um, let's talk about the human characters. First off, there are just too many character characters. What is the point in half of them? Half of them had nothing but exposition, just jokes, which honestly weren't really that good. But anyway, if I had to... There's so many human characters that could just be cut out for time and replaced with monster action, and it would have been way more fun. And I'll say it again. I'll say it again. This movie... Like, I've said this a lot in my comments, but this movie doesn't feel like a giant... Okay, I'm just having trouble speaking right now. What I'm trying to get across is that even though this movie is trying to improve itself, it still falls into the trap of, oh, we need to cut away to these characters. Oh, we need to add some growth to these characters. It's like, no, 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 no. Just focus on three, just focus on a couple of characters, flesh them out, and then, you know, focus on a monster action and all that sort of stuff. And you're good. You're good. That's, that's all it is. That's all you really need to do. That's, that's something GV got Silver vs. Kong did pretty well. And even though the characters weren't that really good, at least they didn't focus on like four, like 40 of them. Then there's, oh man, the snow and rain effects that are just covering the monster action. Which, in my opinion, I don't like it. It just doesn't look good. Like, mmm. It blocks a lot of things. It makes it look ugly. It doesn't look good at all. And, well, the snow battle makes sense, because, you know, snow um, in the Ar Antarctica. At least that makes sense. Throughout the entire movie, it's explained that Ghidorah basically makes a storm around him. Which, honestly, just... Why? Why does this alien space dragon make storms that are pretty much natural to Earth? I get that other planets have storms on them, like Saturn and Jupiter. But, and, well, Venus, technically. And... It just doesn't really make much sense to me. Like, maybe you could have given him something a bit more cool. Like, maybe, like, gravity, like, altering abilities. Maybe he can, like, be able to, like, lift. Like, he has, like, a, like, effectively a area of effect of sorts where he basically lifts stuff up. But think of it where he is, like, a center of gravity and everything around him is sort of, like, pulled towards him sorts that could have been led to some pretty cool scenes where Godzilla basically could have like jumped in the air and beat Ghidorah a bit maybe I don't know because of Ghidorah's like gravity thing I don't know it's just a concept um what else is there to say really it's just I don't know I didn't really like it I mean I get a lot of people liked it oh wait you know there is another thing to say the fan base. Oh god, the fan base. Oh no, 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 no. The fan base in this movie is just. Mm, it ain't good. It ain't good. It really isn't good. Now, I'm not talking about everyone because obviously every fandom, every fan base, every pretty much anything has good in it. But there's a lot of bad in this fan base. Jeez, some bees. You got the Mothzilla shippers. You got the weird creepy people who draw you know you know what this porn effectively um you got what else is there you got the cringy nine-year-old who will says they will kill anyone who disagrees with their opinions which makes them look stupid as frick you got the edgy teenager who thinks that this you got the edgy teenager who thinks that um that this movie is the best movie and every other movie sucks. Which, honestly, I'm just tired. I'm tired of looking at these comments. It's just exhausting, in my opinion. It's just exhausting looking at all these comments saying, like, oh, Legendary Ghidorah can beat Burning Godzilla from the Godzilla vs. Destroya. Yeah, but he can't beat Fermo Godzilla, who... It's just a mess. Um... This is honestly why I don't really like power scaling, power stuff, like who will win, who will win in these kinds of scenarios. 
because most of them end in nine-year-olds saying that the newer stuff is better, if you know what I'm saying. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed.